Review has tools that let you take accurate measurements on your plans to provide you solutions for your estimating needs. Before you take a measurement, you will want to make sure that your document is calibrated to the correct scale. You can begin by setting the scale in the measurements panel. You'll want to focus on the options under scale at the top. You can enter the scale directly in these fields and change the units if you know the scale. You can also calibrate by clicking the Calibrate button, taking a measurement, and entering its confirmed dimensions in the field, whether it is a listed measurement or even a known measurement like the size of a standard doorway. Click OK and the document is calibrated. You can confirm this by taking a measurement with a known dimension. Above the listed scale, you'll see three options. Store scale in page allows you to save the set scale to the page so that when it is shared, you will not have to recalibrate. You can then choose to define separate X and Y scales or to set different units based on your needs for area and volume. Precision will determine the degree to which your measurements are calculated. You might use the one option to round the measurement to the nearest whole number as it is easier to consider purchasing materials in whole numbers, but there are other options as well. These are the tools. Length. Take individual linear measurements, clicking on two points to get the distance between them. Polylength. Take linear measurements with multiple line segments, clicking on multiple points where the segment lengths and total length are recorded. Perimeter. Take a multi-segment linear measurement where the total is calculated on a 2D plane by clicking on multiple points of an area. Area. Get the length of rectangular regions by clicking and dragging or picking specific points. Diameter. Get the diameter of a circle, clicking from one edge of it to the other to get the measurement. Angle. Get the angle created when you click across three points. Radius. Find the radius of an area, either from the center point or by clicking on three points on a circle for accuracy. Volume. Find volume using the area selected and a defined depth in the properties, selecting points the same way you would an area measurement. Count. Use to count the number of objects present in your drawings either manually or as part of a search. You can activate the tool and click where you want to add a count. You can copy, split, or resume the count as necessary. Cutout. Cut out from previously defined area or volume measurements. Dynamic fill. Set boundaries and use a paint bucket type fill to define an area, which is incredibly helpful for things like large areas or regularly shaped rooms. You can then choose what measurements and what properties you've set up to add to the measurements and calculate them all automatically. To make your measurements more accurate, you might want to use the Snap to Content option under the View menu, but this will only work if the PDF you're measuring features vector content. While you can measure a scanned PDF featuring raster content, it's recommended that you use vector content. Measurement tools also have additional settings that help you get the most accurate measurements, especially when considering working with the 2D medium of PDFs. Here are the settings. These can be accessed in the tool's properties or their right-click context menus. Depth. Add a third dimension for volume measurements. Rise drop. Add additional length to account for vertical runs to existing measurements on a 2D plan. Slope. You can set a slope to get the true area of a graded area as it is represented on a 2D plan. Split. Split polylines, segments, and counts into different groups if they require different materials, for example. Segment captions. For multi-segment measurements, you can apply a caption to label each segment. Copying. Copy measurements like counts or cutouts to be reused and added as necessary. These measurement markups can be accessed from the Tools menu, the Measurements panels, 
or toolbars, depending on how your interface is set up. Measurement tools are just like any other markup in review, meaning you can track the data in the markups list, edit any of the measurement markups properties, or create arcs from line segments and save them to tool sets.